I'm joined today uh, by Thomas Christofferson, Senior Director, Global Strategic Partnerships at MoneyGram International. Uh, Thomas has kindly agreed to um, spend a couple of minutes with us sharing his views on uh, mobile money uh, innovation and developments to date. Thanks for joining us, Thomas. So mobile money was initially a phenomenon in emerging markets. Would you say this will continue to be the case, or do you expect more growth within developed markets over the coming months and years? Well, obviously, the, the, everyone's seen the growth that's happened in the developed market, in developing markets. So, for instance, in Kenya uh, and Tanzania, uh, we also see a lot of activity in the Philippines. But uh, recently, there's been a lot of, uh, of activity uh, in the SEM markets. Really, you know, Japan is probably a couple of years ahead on the technology of other markets, but uh, uh, the U.S. Is, is, seems to be leading uh, the way in developing new. Um, mobile wallets and mobile technology for payments in, uh, on the sort of developed markets. So yes, I do expect there to be a lot of new activity, new technology uh, and growth in the developed markets. Now you mentioned the USA then. Um, to date we haven't seen many mobile money deployments uh, or mobile payment de deployments in the region. Uh, why do you think that is and, and what needs to happen in order for there to be more innovation and more growth in that region in particular? Well, I think the U.S. is interesting as a market, um, as the payment uh, infrastructure, infrastructure is a bit more fragmented uh, than in other markets. Uh, so, in, the, in so in Europe, for instance, uh, you've got the issuer of uh, cards, for instance, and is also the, the merchant acquirer. Uh, in the U.S., that's different. It usually, it's a third party. So, there's a lot more more groups that need to get involved. that need to talk together uh, to um, uh, to make something happen. But uh, but we've seen in the uh, in the U.S. there's a lot of um, uh, these. These groups have, have got together. Uh, it's driven a lot by the MNOs uh, who want to get into payments, uh, and a lot of retailers as well are very excited about this. On top of that, you've got big, big companies such as Google who are also getting involved and seeing new revenues, uh, new revenues from this uh, the payment. So it's not only facilitating a need on the developing markets in terms of you know, um, you know, unbanking the other, sorry, banking the unbanked, but it is really uh, creating you know, new revenues, and that's what's attractive. Sure, and, and, and you mentioned that, uh, that to date the majority of, of mobile money initiatives have been mobile operator-led, um, and this has been the case in many, uh, many uh, parts of the world. Um, regulatory conditions in countries such as Nigeria and India have dictated something of a reversal to this trend. So my question is, who do you believe will be the most successful moving forward in terms of attracting most customers and maintaining high volumes of transactions? Well, I think that's the, Steve, I think that's the million dollar question. You know, who's going to win? Who's going to be the, the, the people who are driving this technology? And I suppose, I think you know, at the moment, mobile payments is probably a definition of fragmented business. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and, we, um, and therefore we expect you know, that to continue. Uh, I don't think there'll be one clear winner. Uh, but as you can see now, there's a lot of activity with the payment associations. So recently was an announcement that Visa bought Fundamo. Um, and there's been a lot of activity from the banks, uh, from the MNOs, from the retailers. Uh, from technology companies, things everyone is, uh, is wants to get involved in, uh, and a clear win is, is, is probably not, not, you can't really predict that now, it probably isn't going to be one. Okay, now you and your team have joined us at a number of our events in many far-flung corners of the world. Um, how would you summarise your experiences to date and why, why do you believe the events to be important? Well, I think especially what I just mentioned around, you know, this is fragmented, it's a new business, and lots of different players involved and there's nothing quite like getting together uh, hearing what other people have got to say, getting their opinions, but also you know, outside of the presentations, networking and chatting to people around what their vision is. And, uh, and then sometimes you, know, you do get uh, some sudden sparks of thoughts in terms of, you know, oh, this may be a solution that we can work on and make something that is going to be successful. Great. Thomas, thank you ever so much for your time. Thank you.